My title here is Teacher of Electricity at Middletown Shared Time for Monmouth County Vocational School District. At Local 400, I am a residential instructor. When Hurricane Sandy came through, I went into home construction. Um, my father was a union carpenter, it, well, is a retired union carpenter, and I was just around the trades all my life, so I got into the electrical union and went from there. Miss B Tech is the best teacher ever. Like, you could have the worst mistake ever and she'll just teach you how to do it without actually doing it for you, she'll let you learn yourself. You can go over theory and you can do the work and you can do as much as you could do in practice, as much as you could do in a controlled environment, like an inside structure and a building and things like that. But once you add that predictably unpredictable factor of being on site with other trades, with a storm coming along, with maybe the power company didn't show up to hook you up the day of, or maybe you didn't get a delivery. There's so many other factors that can change that day from a good day to a tough day. It takes being in the field to experience some of that stuff, and experience is your best teacher. Coming in, I knew nothing about electrical work, so I, ha I needed every help I could get, and having someone who had decades of experience, it's really, it's a really great asset. I mean, like I said, I don't know much. And then the, these wonderful teachers just come in and teach us everything they know and prepare us for the real world out there. Technology is always changing. So I think that being in the field and working with different people in the field and learning new things makes it 100% better to bring those skills back. You get a really great example of like how you should do things and like what you should not do and do. And it's like, it shows you like how the person should be. I am still an active member of Local 400. So in the summer when I am not teaching, I can sign the book and pick up jobs as I work. I can do side jobs at home. Even if you don't follow through, even if you don't become an electrician, you will at least have the, the skills in order to fix your own problem. Let's say you have a, need to fix a light bulb. Well, actually, you, you, can, <laughs> you need to change out a switch or an outlet. You know how to do that. If you come into a hands-on program like this, you're gonna have the confidence to do it. Whether, whether you plan to make a career out of it or not, you'll have that in your repertoire. You come in from a beginner stage to a really high level, and it makes you just a really great person. We are organized chaos here. So one day we may be painting a sign to dress up the classroom, but we're also wiring lights into it and we're going over how transformers work because those lights work on five volts, but we're plugging it into a 120 volt outlet. One of the things here with juniors and seniors in high school, they're new drivers. So they all want to put sound systems in their cars. With that, it is electrical. And so we've had the option, especially with the auto program here, we can bring the cars in, we can pull them right into our garage bay, and we can go over wiring speakers. Our director is very supportive of my co-teacher next door and, and myself um, as far as getting the word out that this is what you could do after high school. You could do a trade school, you could do an apprenticeship, you could go to a four-year college. Um, he's willing to come out and talk to the kids. I have a connection that I made through, through teaching at the Union Hall. He had come out and did a presentation for Smart Load Centers, which is basically your panel, your home panels, which are now Wi-Fi connected. You can control them by an app and things like that. And I said, hey, would you come talk to the high school kids? He said, absolutely. So he came out and did a presentation, and they were nice enough to donate two Smart Load Panel setups for both classes, which was amazing and then we'll get to install them next year and go over the new technology. So it does, it helps to have those connections and keep, keep those doors open.